Welcome back, world, to another episode of the Hollywood Kitbacks Podcast. I'm your co-host with the co-host, uh-huh. Alex Millage. Join with me in person, in person, as always, is Will Lopez. What's up, guys? And join with us for this very special episode here behind the camera is Ipkiss. Yes, sir. Ipkiss, say hello for the world. The prodigal son is here. Your mic's over there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm here, baby. Yeah. He made his way back from the Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but um, what's to be said about today's game? Uh, it's a loss against Arsenal, second in a row, and it's a pretty disappointing loss considering how things went. Yeah. Will, what was your reaction to the game? Oh, man, we lost control, brother. We lost control of the game. Uh, Arsenal never took – they never changed the gear, but we did. And I don't know if you noticed that we just finished watching the game. Oh my god, dude! And it, 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 our own our own gift of almost the goal was our own curse in the second half. Off of a fucking deflection, dude. I mean, if you actually think about it, considering all things, we could have been playing with ten men from the 29th minute throughout the whole game. <laughs> we got away with murder. I would say that yeah. that should have been a red card, and yeah. everyone knew it. But somehow, um, you know, the call just went our way and we were uh we were able to keep a level game going but we could have been playing with 10 with 10 men from the 29th minute yeah. and it could have been a different scoreline than what it was and once again arsenal getting another deflection goal yeah you know just like what we saw in the community shield at the beginning of this year uh you hate to see it yeah you know what i'm saying yeah definitely. so well uh if kiss what are your thoughts on the game i was disappointed that the substitutions i don't think you guys oh, yeah. should have mentioned that oh yeah uh they should have took out bernardo silva and um, i'm gonna leave it up to you guys who they should have subbed in for they look lackluster the whole time they just look like they just i don't know jet lag and it's not yeah. even far to travel yeah and on to the next one couldn't have said it better, dog. It's, you sound like an American sports fan. On to the next one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Forget about this one. On the next, I'm, I'm already on to the next game. Generic, I'm, already on, I'm already on the next game. Uh, generic wait, 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 what do you one. sound like? Like an NFL head coach right there. But, uh, but, the, so there's a lot of things that could be said about this. And I think <laughs> we're seeing again Pep tinkering with the lineup yeah. and getting – uh, the wrong result so like it was just which we're just watching the game and reflecting on it like it just made me reflect on last year like i had never had this complaint about pep last year yeah pep always played the right lineup last year i didn't have any questions there's the season before that i had many questions about his lineup but this game uh, this last year never had a question about his lineup he always played the right lineup. he always played the lineup that should have been played but this time around i'm, I'm just wondering silva subbing off alvarez for doku like what like what are you doing alvarez has been our goal scorer since you know that holland has had his his fall into a difficulty kevin de bruyne is out but like alvarez has been getting our most goals and assists in this last game i just don't understand why he subs him off at that point in the game when probably alvarez could have was had our was our best chance to get a goal yeah no it's true uh while you were gone uh while you went to go get lunch after the game who do you usually – who's the player you usually want to interview, you know, with the boys oh, and everything? Yes. You want to interview the best performance of the of the game, right? Yeah. You know who they interviewed? Bernardo Silva. Why? The the the, the most winded fool on the, <laughs> on, the, on the pitch, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like adding insult to injury, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like, why – fucking give Rico Lewis some camera time, you know? Today was a big moment for him to start. And, you know, it's a big game against Arsenal and stuff. And he did fairly well. Why are you going to interview Bernardo Silva? You know what I mean? Like, why? Julian Alvarez could have had more to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. But So, yeah. for this, so we are just coming off our first live stream. We we live streamed this match on Instagram Live. Yes, sir. And this this will be shortly to YouTube. Uh, we recorded also through Zoom. It was a pleasure doing this, but at the same time, it was also a disappointment to see a loss. <laughs> yeah. And the fact also, too, is that uh, we were unable to do our episode before this game to preview this game. Uh, which, you know, is a first for us because last year we were so on the ball with every episode, just schedules got in the way and things 
happening. You know, we do have social lives and whatnot. So we are popular people here on this podcast. <laughs> so we uh, we have things to do, right? Yeah. And it just we couldn't get this episode off and in time. But it's it's good to be with you here with you guys. I'll yeah. say that first. You I know what I'm saying? Well. Cheers. Will yeah, finally got his jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right here. Uh, the the Comma Football Boutique uh, Unique uh, Jersey, Treble Jersey, <laughs> flexing on the homies, right? And, yeah. uh, well, you know, it, it was been, it's been in my closet for so long, but, and I was admiring it, like, when I first got it in hand, I was like, damn, why did I not buy myself that jersey? It has a Champions League patch, has an FA Cup patch, and it has a uh, Premier League Champions on the back with the gold lettering you can't really see yeah you can't but, see it yeah but uh but you know i was like damn i should have bought myself one it says triple winners october 6 2023 baby let's go yeah and uh all thanks to uh oh my god this came around dude it did you it thought around. arsenal wasn't gonna make it to the top four and, here we and are. they did and i get the jersey we play arsenal we fucking lose who who would have thought who would have maybe thought? it's cursed it is cursed. Like you said. Oh, no. We're, 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 we're 0 and 1, meeting in person. Yeah. This is not good. <laughs> we started with a loss on our first fucking uh, a live stream. And so it's like, we should just go back to just watching the games and talking about it on Monday. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. What's the name of this, what is the name of this podcast? The title? Oh, Hollywood Kid Packs. No, no, no. Uh, Hollywood Losers? What? You want, you want oh, what? <laughs> Jump this guy. No, it was, uh, it was uh, that one song by Stain. Fuck on the mic, man. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, oh, it's pretty strong. That's like, oh, okay. okay. It's, it's been, been a while. while. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been in third, third place. Because <laughs> we are in third place right now. And, yeah. you know, is it, oh, man, we're in the trenches now. In the third place, you know what I'm saying? Yes. We're going to, uh, Spurs is the top of the league. Arsenal's above us now. And then now we're in a, in a, in a lowly third place. But not, we're not in shambles, though. When it's okay, I, I think all jokes aside, this is absolutely not a shambles. This is not a shambles. No one should be panicking. This is <laughs> what week six, week seven of the Premier League season. Yes, sir. We we should not be panicking. No one should be panicking at this point in the season. Maybe it's something that we're not used to because we we came off the treble season and we have been doing well for so long. But now that we're in third place and it's still like week seven, this is a pretty you know comfortable. A comfortable way of making mistakes, right? It's the beginning of the season where third place and week seven, you know what I mean? It's, it, 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 it you know, if, if we were like in like maybe mid early to mid April, I think this would be a different situation, but obviously we're not right. We're yeah. in the beginning of October. So this is not a panic situation. It is disappointing to see, uh, you know, Arsenal were our, you know our um you know our title rivals last our season our little brothers our little brothers so to speak yeah and uh you know we're third place we're sitting behind both north london teams spurs and arsenal so uh let's get into it right so yeah. uh highlights of the first match right um uh first the first half of this game right yeah. so um pretty i would say pretty even handed you know uh city had their shots on goal uh, Arsenal had their shots on goal, but I would say the most notable highlight from from us in the first half is Ake missing the sitter. Oh, if I if I might man. say, I, I, we were. I asked, is, "Would you call that a sitter?" And Will over here says, "Yes, it, it was a sitter." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> that was our best chance at scoring a goal this game, and we didn't put it away. Uh, Ake is used to scoring goals with his head, now his feet. I'll give him that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He had a header in the second half. He did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For the other team. That's right. Yeah, for the other team. Yeah. And you know, it it's you know it's just it's disappointing to see that. Um, you know, and then in the second half, I think Arsenal was way more positive. They had way more opportunities, and then they obviously got the deflection goal, which is just the worst way to score. You yeah. Know what I mean, it's just like you know they they took a shot, it deflected off a defender trying to make a good effort on that ball, yeah. and it goes in the back of the net. And then they they celebrate like they won the Premier League. Yeah. And then we go down one nil. The game ends one nil. So, well, what else stood out to you in, in this game? All right, this is the one that's a controversial fucking moment that all of us were like, why wasn't there an advantage for Rico Lewis getting fucking fouled, him getting back up and finishing the play? How oh, the hell yeah. is there no yeah. fucking goddamn? Yeah. Where's the advantage? You know, he popped right back up. We didn't have the audio for the game, so they probably explained why. Yeah, but, but how do you not give it? I've seen worse things happen where the guy gets back up and finishes it. 
you clearly see the ref going, which means play on. You know what I mean? You think, you think they discontinued it because uh, because yeah, of Manos? what? Manos? No, they gave us a set piece right there. They gave us a set piece opportunity right there. You know, and who was the shot? Who shot it? Or what? What the hell did we even do? Because I did not see Julian Alvarez behind that set piece, which you were oh, like, it was what a free the fuck, kick. Dude? Yeah, it was a so, free kick. You know what I mean? That's that's such a fucking shitty ass. Call. Oh yeah, now I remember it. Is that why was Fo- why did Foden take it? Which is Foden is not it's not necessarily a bad choice to take the the free kick, but my choice always is Alvarez because that's how we scored most of our goals this season is on Alvarez set pieces. The past three weeks he's been successful. Yeah, ninety percent on fucking set pieces and shots. Sure. And what we do, we give Phil Foden. We love Phil Foden. But yeah, that's not the guy to fucking take that opportunity, and that's not the guy to sub off the pitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we shot ourselves in the leg. Yeah, I mean, going back to how Pep lined this game up, uh, I you know necessarily it didn't, it didn't necessarily start off as a bad lineup. You know what I mean? It was it was it was a it was a lineup that made sense initially, but looking at how how bum of a game Silva had, he should have been subbed off. Uh, I should not have been Alvarez that got no, sucked off. No. Alvarez is the one that's been scoring us the goals this season in this these seven weeks that we've been playing. Yes, sir. So he uh, subbing Silva just looked he looked winded. He looked really tired. He was just kind of like going between. He looked like he was going through the motions. He just did not look himself, and he should have been subbed off. You know yep. what I mean? And there's a lot of things. You know, where was Grealish? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, he's conspicuously absent. You know, it's just like they're just this game leaves you like with like, okay, why did he not play these players? And like, what, like, why, like, why do you make these choices? And it's like, this has been a rare spot that we've had. You know, this was, this feels like the 21 22 season, not, huh. not the 22 23 season when it seemed like Pep got all of the right lamps, right? Yeah, yeah, This yeah. game, it's just like, why are we playing it? Why are we playing it like this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. Like I said, we shot ourselves in the leg. We made all the mistakes. Aka didn't finish. And I swear to God that we were saved when he put in Jeremy Doku and Mateos Nunez. Yeah. I was like, here come, here comes the men in black. You know what I mean? They're here to save us, dude. And, and Phil Foden. And, uh, and Foden started. Foden started, but it just wasn't. You know, and like we've been talking on this podcast that Mateus Nunez and Doku is the new yeah. pairing. The Dynamic new, the, duo. The new link up pair. Yeah. Right? Like we have Walker and Foden on the right hand side in that right hand channel. Yep. And then we have Mateus Nunez and Doku that have been a great pairing when M- Nunez plays back more, like like in a Rodri role. Yeah. And then like but that wasn't there on the pitch right that wasn't that that's not what we saw on the pitch right and like yeah. th- this arsenal team was not e- exceptional it was they were without Saka. yeah um they you know they didn't they subbed on martinelli late yeah you know what i'm saying so why were we not able to get a goal in the first half is you know beyond me and also like second half city i was i was talking about in the live stream i was saying it like multiple times to will it into being but it turns out that there was no second half city to be, to be found there was, there was no there's no second half heroics to be found yeah. so um this game was definitely out of character for city and i think there was uh the primary reason was just pep pep got this lineup wrong and also got the substitution wrong so um and this is what we see in a deflection goal just a deflection goal that, Those are the that, worst, dude. You know, just like like the community shield. And then you just see the Arsenal support fan base just celebrating like they just won a title of, 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 of sorts, right? And it's just like, and this is our second loss in two weeks. Uh, we did not cover uh, the Wolves game in this or was we lost the wolves right yeah yes yeah we, we didn't cut the wolves game we could maybe talk about the wolves game if you want to have anything to say about that no thanks man <laughs> <laughs> well we so we unfortunately we did drop an episode that, yes if we dropped them so we didn't release an episode this week so i would like to touch on it a little bit but yeah my my word what a that was the worst defensive display we've had in a very very long time if i can remember well at least we scored that game on ourselves <laughs> you know, was, for real for real you know Jesus. but like come on man Ake getting beat on the wing like that that is just like i thought that was thought to be those impossible are, those are three really bad errors dude yeah in two games diaz on goal yeah that's... the same sentence diaz scoring an on goal unheard of 
Unheard of. That that they reserve that stuff for like Harry Maguire, but not my man <laughs> Ru- Ruben Diaz. Oh man, don't you know even I mean? compare those guys. Yeah, but here I am because yeah, yeah. of that defensive display, right? <laughs> yeah. Like here I am comparing those two people in the same. We the, can the, also do it. <laughs> we can also, yeah. I mean, like, come on, man. I I, I, I mean, I I typically play right back on Sunday league, so uh, you know, so <laughs> don't catch me. I'm like Kyle Walker. Still <laughs> fucking title, dude. If I, I did get Rochelle a title. <laughs> take take shout a shit for that. Take a <laughs> but um yeah but like uh, but i mean like it, it wolves is a quality team if, if we had to lose to a team i guess i would lose the wolves you know i don't count wolves down for a bit i, yeah. I do respect them and you know they're the the the, the team is itself but like you know but like but also one thing too we're pl- we've been playing with a lot of injuries you know what i mean like this is not a full capacity man city Kevin de is going to be out indefinitely uh, we had a lot of uh, injuries wow. from from you know up to now, so it, this is this is kind of almost to be expected. I mean, we were here on the podcast giving very optimistic things. Like I, I mean, th- my my prediction's gone. I mean, my prediction of like are we, we going to beat the Centurion record? Oh yeah, yeah, is and, gone. Yeah, and yeah, the score record too. Yeah, so like I mean that instantly blew up in my face. Yeah, but I'll do it for clout. That you know same I mean? week, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do it for clout. I'll That's say it. I'll say I'll say in dunk the same, in the same week too. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say dumb shit for clout you know what i mean yeah. so uh but uh but but now it's like okay we 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 are still in everything it's it, there's nothing to panic about but the thing is though is that we're going is this going to be a clinical run for the title we have two great teams to play now it's not just arsenal it's now spurs wow and everyone here knows that spurs away is man city's kryptonite you know yes. what i'm saying we yes. don't win away at spurs we haven't scored a goal away at spurs really? yes so that's a statistic that's bearing us down in the, in, in the face and uh we don't play the spurs until like december now but like you know but th- we have uh, pro- probably about three or four teams in this race now so this is this is this is not just like two team race you know what i mean it's a it's a four it's a three four team race liverpool's also looking good so i don't count them out of it as well but yeah spurs spurs you know are looking serious and they sit at top of the league now so, uh, what else did, did you take away from that Wolves game, Will? Just uh, the same lineup. I mean, I mean, it, it wasn't the same lineup. It was way different, but it is just no intensity in trying to win when we're behind. You know what I mean? It's like, what happened? Did we lose the the magic over the week, this month? Like, what are we doing, dude? What are we doing? Whose fault is it? We it's going so bad that we don't even know who to blame. Yeah. I mean, I, even saying it like that I don't, I, is is a little bit hyperbole. I mean, all right, we have injuries. Yes, it is injuries. Uh huh. You know, and Pep getting this lineup wrong this game. There is some very, it's kind of a little, some of it is a, a lot of it is out of our hands. Some of it is. I mean, me and Jeff, I would say this game definitely is, but a lot of things are out of our hands injuries have been playing us for the last three to four weeks stones got subbed on late in this arsenal game so you know like we we tried to we tried to make something happen and yeah. we, we we put on stones who's been injured for a long time um you know so we we tried doing something but it just didn't work out so i wouldn't say it's like it's like kind of like the sky's falling but you know dropping two games is is out of norm for city i would say yeah and um in this premier league race demands perfection um hopefully it's not uh it doesn't instigate a full-on slide and further further loss because uh looking ahead to next week we play brighton which we'll be previewing on this podcast but brighton is a difficult team they are playing great football and they're a quality side so we have to figure something out from now and then yep no i mean dog Oh my God! Imagine this squad would have played the Champions League this week. This squad, the one we had today. Okay. It shows you that Arsenal is gonna get further away in the Champions League than us. You think so? I think so. Come on, dog. How do we shit the bed this bad against our against our foes in our own league? I mean, we're still in the group stage, and I, I don't think we have an exceptionally hard group. Um, I I don't necessarily think that we would get. It's like it's like it is the sky's falling on that end, but like we can't have these kind of performances in the Champions League. I'll we might that. not last out out of the top eight if we perform this way continuously. Mm. 
Come on. I come on. I I I don't think I'll go as far as say as that. We, we need I, to shape I, it up. I, I would say we need to be a healthy the, the healthiest squad we can be without De Bruyne. I think that is what I'll say. De Bruyne definitely is a, changes our side from what it was last season. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we had him lo- lo- uh, for all the campaign up until the Champions League final. Yeah. And then uh, or during the Champions League final. Um, and, you know, but like, I, I don't say, I, I, I'm not I don't, I'm not panicking right now. I'm not going to hit the panic button. I'm not going to make a statement saying that Arsenal is going to get further than us than in the Champions League. But um, I will say, say they wouldn't make top four. <clears throat> last year, yeah, and, I, I, and I've and I've shaped up. I've I've done the work. I've held myself accountable. I'm they they say look stronger honest, this year. No, I don't say that. I We're in third that. place. We're in third place right now. And they're in first. No, they're in second place. Oh, they're in Spurs, second. Spurs is in first. Okay. So yeah, uh, in second. Yeah. So Arsenal's drawn like two games this year. And I, I'm not shitting on us. I'm just being a fucking realistic soccer fan. You know, I'm a city fan too, but God damn it, dude, we we gotta do something, bro. We gotta figure out who's gonna do what and whose responsibilities are gonna be what. Because from what I know, is our midfielder should be Julian Alvarez on the top. Yeah, and I agree with you. Um, and I think we've actually done a, a perfectly good job until like last week. Yeah. You know what I mean? We lost. We were perfect up until Wolves. Uh huh. And then we lost this week you know what i'm saying so um you know we were perfect up until last week we had our roles defined but then injuries happened right yeah so you know and we're and we're just kind of like piecing things together so um at this point really you know i just we need to get healthy we need to get health as healthy as we can without kevin de bruyne and to get back to what we were doing in the week for the first few weeks of the week season right so i agree you know so that i think that's where we're at right now on um in in this season i'm i'm not hitting any panic buttons i'm not going to make any uh, exaggerate claims into like how we're going to do in all the other competition i just think we should just keep this where it is in the premier league still early in the season uh the season <laughs> the, the title is not slipped out of our hands and it won't be that way for you know for however long yeah um you know this adversity in the season and it's happening now i'd rather happen to have it now mm-hmm. than in february you know what i'm saying like you remember, you remember the dog days of january and february of this, yeah. this year yeah yeah when yeah. we just thought that the world was ending yeah and then we somehow came out of it and went in trouble yeah so um yes or no do you think this team is having a championship hangover championship hangover experiencing a championship hangover. so i'll say in terms of injuries yes we have a championship hangover i think there were a lot of residual injuries from uh, pursuing the trouble that's true as you can see with kevin de bruyne yeah jack Grealish, john stones um there might be some residual um injuries from that but i think in terms of mentality i don't think there's a hangover i don't think i don't think the boys look like they're just like resting on the laurels with the treble. Mm-hmm. I think they are still as hungry as ever to win a Premier League and the next Champions League, uh, which I think is a goal for uh, for them and for every Spurs, not Spurs. Sorry, <laughs> uh, Spurs fan. Well, it is a goal for Spurs fans. They haven't won in a while, but uh, for real. Uh, but City for City fans, right? Yeah. Um. So I don't necessarily think there is a hangover uh, in the mentality. I think the injuries are definitely it could you could say it's like a hangover. I guess. What do you think about what about you, Will? Man, I mean, a hangover maybe, but we have a lot of new pieces this season. So I, I can't say that it's the same thing from last season, because mm-hmm. I mean, not only are we working with new with uh, with a bunch of uh, injuries, but we're working with new new wingers, new midfielders, new defenders. So I don't know. It's it's uh, we're just rebuilding again, dog. You know what I mean? We're rebuilding again, and we just gotta find we gotta uh, f- we gotta find the fine tuning to this machine we call city. You know what I mean? Like. It's got to get better, dude. And the thing is, though, is that we were, we had a thing going in the first you know few weeks of the season, like yeah. the first few games. We had yeah. something going. It seemed like they, even though that there were some major omissions and losses from the squad, that we were still playing well. But this these two weeks have, are causing creating is, is creating doubt for sure. But I I think we we're going to we're going to go through this adversity, but we're going to come out of it, and we're going to find a new identity for ourselves and. You know, you would hope that Pep has learned his lesson from 
21, 22 to not tinker with these lineups like he does. Yeah. But we he needs to get the lineups right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. and like and I think we could all see that that the, the subbing Alvarez was not the right decision. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was and, bad. And so like we can't just like beat ourselves in that respect. And you know, it's just like, and one thing too is like Pep's just had a weird few weeks too. I mean, he got the he got the uh, touchline ban, right? Yes. So it's just like what? It's just kind of like he's just he's ha- he's not had a good you know few weeks, right? Like Pep, you know, it needs to set the example for the team, but you know, he's himself had some emotional flare-ups, I guess. Yeah, I, I Ipkis, uh pointed out something very interesting about the game that they didn't show him that much on the camera. They did not. They usually. They usually show a lot. They usually show him drinking his water or having that dry spit at the tip of his mouth. You know what I mean? Like, today he was just not... I think we saw Mikel Arteta the whole mo- yeah. <laughs> the whole fucking... You know it what I like mean? like the new Pep. Yeah, yeah. A Pep Jr., you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's true. That's true. Fuck it. So, uh, I'd like to bring up some of the results from around the league this, this, uh, from this weekend. So, Tottenham beat Luton Town with a red card 1-0. Spurs flying high in the top of the league. Uh, Fulham beat Sheffield United 3-1. Shout out Tony Khan. <laughs> uh, Chelsea beat Burnley 4-1. Wow. No smackdown. Uh, United beat Brentford 2-1. Uh, celebrating like they like they won something with that with that game for sure. <laughs> um, Everton something. beat Bournemouth 3-0. Uh, Brighton drew Liverpool 2-2. And then uh, Wolves drew Aston Villa 1-1 and then we lose to uh, Arsenal uh, 1-0 so are we watching any of these games well? Uh, fuck I don't I don't even remember I think the question that. is have you bet any games? Oh uh, no I, I've been losing a lot of money this week and that's been Bill's bets and that's, that, <laughs> and that's been an episode of Bill's bets um, so you know Definitely the race is shaping up. Um, Spurs flying high. Arsenal still looking solid. Uh, Liverpool also looking solid. And so, um, you know, hopefully City can turn things around. But we are going into international break. Um, uh, So, because of the Euro, Euro qualifiers are are continuing this week. Uh, I don't have England's schedule right here in front of me. But that means no football. Whack, whack. Whack. Whack, you know. Uh, but we when we come back, we play Brighton at perfectly decent size, so we can preview that match. So, uh, well, uh, what do you think of Brighton? What do you think of this going in, going into this game? We can't count these guys out because we gave them a good praising this goddamn season and last season too. So, ah uh, man, oh, this is tough to say after seeing these two losses in a row, bro. Two losses in a fucking row. Oh man, I I think this is the this is the match for us to to shake this to get the bad taste out of our mouth and fucking get back to these winning ways that we know. You know what I mean? Uh, it's gonna be a tough game, dog. But like that's what I said. That's what I said about the 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 situation that's going around right now. We're in third place, okay? We're in third place, and we're seeing teams like Spurs in first and Arsenal fucking winning us right now in the race. This is when we're going to get the best out of Manchester City. Because if there's one thing we do like, is we like to fucking play under fucking these kind of circumstances. That's why we're called the second fucking half city. Because we always get punched first if somebody scores. But once you punch us, we're going to beat the shit out of you if we get back up. And we're going to do that this week with Brighton. Second half city. Yes. But uh, Take a shot. I, this... this uh. <laughs> We're, it's going to be about a week and a half before we play a game again, which is good for us in terms of healing from injuries. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get some time off. Some players are going to get some time off. Some players are still going to be playing for the national team. That's okay. But, um, you know, they get some time off away from the Premier League. They're going to rest up, come back, and then play Brighton, which is going to be not an easy game. Yeah. But a game that we can win. And I need to verify if that's away or home. But it's a game that can win. That they can. That you know they can win. Uh, it, they're gonna get a run for their money. But we just need to take these next two weeks. Uh, next, we're at we're home. Gonna, we are at home. Okay? Beautiful. It's so uh, a perfect situation to get back to you know into a winning swing, right? Yes. And that we'll look back on this in December as just like kind of a hiccup point, right? Like yes. we, we lose the Wolves, we lose the Arsenal, but 
we're still flying high in the league. So, Will, what what kind of lineup are we gonna be playing when when we come back against Brian at, against Brighton? I know this. I know against Brighton, 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 Brighton Hove Albion, Brighton Hove Albion. Dog, I'm expecting for sure this one. Jeremy Doku got to, we got to start that. The reason that he looks so fucking weird today is because he came in when everybody was tired. And even I said, dude, he's doing too much. Why? Because he's not fucking, it didn't look, he didn't look paired up to any fucking player on the goddamn pitch. So this week we should fucking start him against Brighton. Mateos Nunez. Okay, fuck it. Let's go with the 11. Jeremy Doku. Erling Haaland. Fuck, man. What's up with Erling Haaland, dude? Yeah, I was going to say. Jesus. That but just... yes, Erling Haaland, Jeremy Doku, Phil Foden. Uh, back two would be... Um, back two would be... Uh, Nunez and Kovacic, right? Yes. Nunez it's about the, and the, the Julian play. Alvarez. Okay. Three, two, four, one. All right. I, yeah. So, well, yeah. Three, two, four, one. So, for me, that would be Ake... Ake, okay. Diaz, Gavardiol, um, Walker. Well, let's just do it back four then. Four, four, two, three, one. I think is how he's been playing. After all these mistakes, you're gonna start Ake. That's a good question. Do I start that's, Ake? That's that's. Do you start Ake? I do. Would you start Ake in the next game? Hell no. You know who I would give yeah. because he hasn't fucked up yet. Mario Gomez. You think so? Yes. Sergio Gomez. Sergio Gomez. Sorry, sorry. Who the fuck is Mario Gomez? Have we talked about <laughs> uh, Jack? Pool. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can we talk about Jack really? Shut up. I mean... He's been conspicuously absent. Yeah. Um, that that was just something I mentioned previously about where's Jack Grealish, you know what I'm saying? And all this mix-up. But, but with Jeremy Doku, you don't, you don't really... I don't want to say you don't really care, but you're just like... Uh, I think I think cool, you know what I, I mean? think I think it might be some injury concerns with Grealish. Oh, I think wow. that he's still kind of tender, so I think there might be an injury concern that that's why he might not have played this this game. You know what I'm saying? Because he is coming off a thigh injury, so maybe some tenderness and just kind of being on the safe side. That's why he didn't play this game. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm thinking about it, why would we throw in a fucking injured John Stones? Maybe so he can get something going moving forward. Well, I mean, look at the that's result. That's not the of game. That. That's not the game to do it, though. Yes, yeah, right. that's the result. Look at the result we got because of that. Yeah. yeah, we made so many goddamn weird mistakes, so many weird mistakes. But we're talking about Brighton right now. I'm sorry, yeah. but dog, yeah, with 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 the likes of Jeremy Dokufu, I'd rather have Jeremy Doku right now. I think I'd start with Gavardi on the left. Gavardi, uh, Kanji, Diaz, Walker, Kanji. Yeah, where the fuck has he been? Uh, he's not injured. He's not injured, but Kanji can play left side. Can be a left side center back. Left side Kanji at left side center back. Diaz at right side center back. Walker, uh, Kovacic, Nunez, Doku, Alvarez, Foden, Holland. That's what we should have had today. Yeah, that's our best eleven at the moment. Yes. So, yeah. So we're, we're, we've been kind of playing a four-two-three-one, and Alvarez is. Like a shadow striker, attacking midfielder, mm -hmm. who takes our set pieces. Yeah, I I think that that's the lineup that needs to be out there, and then everything else is it's just a substitution, right? Yeah. And then well, we can think separately about the Champions League, but for now, like in the Premier League, I think that that's the best the best starting eleven. Yeah. So you you want to make a prediction now or wait? Let's do it now. Okay. Let's do it now, and um, let's start off with Ifkis. What do you think <laughs> is the score is going to be for this uh for this match, Brighton? Against Brighton. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah. So, so huh. okay. We'll, we'll get... My offer. We'll, no. Okay. no, you're right. You're good. Yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. You don't need to doubt yourself. <laughs> I know. I'm like... I feel like they're going to use... It. They lost two in a row. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, they're going to use and that as motivation. Like, we can't lose three in a row or else there's, like, semi-panic mode. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's not a fire sale yet, but... Yeah. We can, what about you, Alex? I'll say three one. I was gonna say three it? one too. You're gonna go with the safe bet. Our yeah. safe bet. Our <laughs> Hollywood kit pack safe bet is three one. Yeah, three one. Three one. <laughs> Who's gonna score? Uh, Holland brace Alvarez set piece goal. Evan Ferguson scores one for Brighton. Are they it's, are it's, they playing at home? Yes, we're playing. Oh at yeah, home. yeah, yeah. Well, they, they're gonna have that extra. Yeah. Um, Damn. 
Erling Haaland with the two with the with the brace. You're you're. He needs to do it. He needs to do it. It's about time. It's about damn time. It's about damn time. It's about damn. Time. <laughs> Lizzo was at the well Incubus done. show on Friday night. The Incubation made against parents. So that's tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God damn it! I'm just gonna hold back my comments for this podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but uh, okay. I say three one. Um, Mateos Nunez, Jeremy Doku, and Phil Foden, from one each. Okay. One each. One each. Plausible. Yes. Very, very plausible scenario there. Yes. So, um, but and Pep will be on camera more often in this game. Pep, Pep, Pep will be on camera. <laughs> the Pep cam. What, what, what will he be wearing? The Pep cam. <laughs> uh, turtleneck. So he'll he'll, he'll sport rock his chest for talent turtleneck. We missed think, that guy. I think we did see him on on camera once. I mean, I think we said something about his fit. That he, it, but it, it was not oh, a good. Yeah, it was, yeah, not, yeah, it was yeah. not a good fit. <laughs> it was like the clearance section at Target. Or it got yeah, so bad yeah, that yeah, we started yeah. raiding our own coaches' yeah. fucking clothes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he, he was. He was definitely like dad style, like dad, like <laughs> in his fifties, like you know, just golfing. Just like, woke up. Just like <laughs> ill-fitting jeans. Just woke you know up. What I mean? <laughs> and like it tucked in. No, I, I, I think it was like. I think it was like a. It was like a uh, like a Heather Gray. Turtleneck <laughs> into like ill fitting jeans. What and a, not gonna lie, not one of his best moments. What a bad say. description. Ill fitting. Ill fitting. No, you could tell it was it, laundry it, it day. Bad. You know, it, it, it's kind of loose fitting. Ill fitting, like you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, what you wearing? Oh my god. But like, I, I just want to take this time to reflect on the live stream, really. Like, yeah. there, there are some great moments in this live stream. And uh, we, I just want to reflect on those moments. So, like, you know, um, well, shout out to everyone that joined the live stream yes, on yes, IG. Yes, yes, yeah. And uh, the, the honorable mentions, uh, I think the first that comes to mind is Sconey. Yeah, Sconey. <laughs> Sconey. Sc- Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sconey. Uh, the author of the Noel Gallagher book joined the, the oh, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I forget his name. I will I will mention him in the post. Apologies. Uh, Your brother. My brother. Yeah. Just, just to, to remind us that Spurs top of the league right now. <laughs> And then uh, 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 what else? Oh, a bit of banter. Bit of banter. Patrick and George joined the podcast. Yes, yes, George yes. was commenting throughout the game. I appreciate yes. George's comments. Appreciate yes. you, man. Hey, Even though he uh, wants to be a city fan so bad, I know he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. I know he does, dog. I know he does. And, and we'll yeah. pull him. That'll be the goal for the season. Yeah, yeah. We'll and, him him city. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> we were talking about this on the podcast. We talked about this on a bit of banter, but uh, the offer extends to anyone here. If you're a fan of United, Arsenal, or Chelsea. And you want to become a Man City fan. If you become a Man City fan, follow us. Give us a five-star. Yes. Uh, subscribe. We will always treat you like you've been here since the beginning. Since 2012, yeah. dog. Since, since, <laughs> it, it, whatever. Since it, this is the beginning, right? We'll, we'll always treat you like that, right? This is always time oh, to drop out, right? And then we were having this, we were having this great debate on how your friend Sconey, like how he became a United fan and that he hasn't been there. That's beginning. news to me, doggy. Yeah, that's news to me. Yeah. But all right, hey, like I, I said, think, you want to be a United fan? Go ahead. I, th- I think it made it made him feel better to be like, oh, because you weren't. How long you been a City fan? Yeah, I was insulted by that too. I was like, this guy's been my. The, the difference my, between my me and right him here, yeah. is that he's never been to United game. Yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that. But I, yeah, to say United, I mean, that's not cool to say, dude. <laughs> he never did a podcast. He never did a podcast. Hey, 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 hey. It's Coney. Uh, also, uh, I've never seen this guy before, but uh, I'm totally <laughs> looks like Chap Muska. Uh, not at all. <laughs> like, he's a, dress at like, all. A, like a like a like a like a paisa Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, he's just a paisa now. Uh, <laughs> probably. Yeah. I want to give a huge probably. shout out to all the Manchester City support groups that are on Instagram that actually tuned in and said what's up. We had somebody oh, yeah, from, from the world. Indian, we uh, India. Hindi, we had somebody yeah. from Mexico. We had somebody from uh, oh, man. Uh, from Austria. From Austria, which yeah. is fucking cool. So I mean, shout out to everybody. We know this this podcast is for citizens. You know what I mean? Shout Real out, citizens, shout dog. Out to shout and by citizens, shout I mean Manchester out. City fans. <laughs> 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 you, you, can, you don't have to have papers to watch this dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, <laughs> we've yeah, I mean, just like we have a very much a worldwide audience. And, yeah, it's and, getting good. And as we always say in this podcast, like even the Man City podcast in America, there is uh, there's a, there's a, a, a small ecosystem of Man City podcasts in America. And if I support every single one, if you're a Man City fan, and 
uh, you want to start a podcast, you know, start that podcast and then we'll all support you, right? And have us on it. And have us on it. Yeah. And And then, uh, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it it was, it was definitely a beautiful time. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, I'm just trying to remember all the funny moments of the podcast. You know what I mean? If I'm missing any inside jokes. If you want to see those goddamn moments, go to our Instagram on Hollywood Kid Packs. K I P P A X, and you can see what we were. You can see our reaction of the Arsenal game, dude. Yeah, the full reaction, and across, that's the same across all sorts of media platforms: Facebook, Twitter, oh. Instagram, and TikTok. Yeah. And um, we were trying to go YouTube live today. There were some yeah. technical difficulties. Next one for sure. But the next Certain one for policies. sure. policies. Yes, yeah. and we'll be we'll be doing this. Uh, we decided that we'll be doing it for Man United, uh, the Manchester Derby. Yeah. Oof. So, uh, Tony, we, we will be back. Tony, both of them, Tony, Tony and fuck Sconi. Tony right now. Cause both he Tonys. said, I'm not down to get up at eight 30 in the morning for your podcast. Yeah. And right. I was like, all right, you bastard. I'm going to ask a real fan. So we're going to have our homie, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? Why not? Homie Sconey. <laughs> oh, oh Sconey. Uh, yeah. I, I'll be surprised if he knows two players names, dude. He'll probably come with churros. Or yeah, no, nah, you'll yeah. love my homie Jason, dude. Yeah, uh, another yeah. musician, yeah. they're a beautiful soccer fan. Yeah, and it's gonna be a good time. So, um, I agree with us doing these more often. Absolutely. If we have these live uh, reactions on Instagram, I would love to invite the opposing team or a fan to come in and then. Oh yeah. You know, It'll yeah, be, it'll be fun that way. Yeah, because yeah, if they yeah. lose, then we get to clown the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 at your own peril yeah, really. yeah. but uh but you know Ooh. but considering how we played i mean they'd be clowning us yes you know yeah oh so, my god so uh but you know hopefully these are not too many more moments so um well is there any final thing you would like to say or if case anything you'd like to say anything you want to get your chest before we sign off um it was beautiful to finally do this in person it's been a year more than a year. Yeah. More than a year that yeah. we've done this on Zoom and we finally got together to bring you guys this content and I want to do this more often. Yeah. I want to do this more yeah, often. This yeah, is yeah. fucking fun. And, uh, you know, to have uh, two of the coolest fucking dudes and fucking watch soccer and fucking drink beer and you know what I mean? And talk to other citizens online. This is what it's about, dude. So, city, let's shape up. And give us that fucking badass fucking content again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, yeah, if there's anything you want to say before we sign off, no, oh, it's thank just you for um, the jersey. So to go back, what I was saying is that it's just a little bittersweet to. Um, I used to see. I mentioned this in an episode back in the days to see Alex pass by, in the parking lot with a city kit, and I was like, man, that's sick. Everybody has fucking Real Madrid. They have some other fucking team. So we would chop it up all the time. And he put me up on football manager and all that. And I was like, man, that's dope. Shout out Rochdale. I had this like little weird idea in my head. Maybe I should introduce him to Fix. Yeah. And one day both of you guys were in the parking lot and I was like, perfect time. Yeah. And so speed back, the World Cup episodes, I became a dad, all this stuff. Like we're becoming tight knit. It's like a little that's family, true. you know what I mean? That's very, very true. And to have followers from Mexico, you guys could say the yeah. other places, like, man, that's so fucking cool. What an idea. You know, what comes with an idea and um uh just cheers to the next hundred episodes. Yeah. And all thanks to Manchester City. Yeah. The team nah. we love. Yeah, the team, this, Especially this winning team. the treble, like, you know, within our first year as a yeah, podcast. Our first year as a podcast, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we peaked. Uh but we, you know, this is just the coolest team to support, in my opinion. I've always maintained, you know, this is the coolest fan base, coolest team to support. Uh, so, once again, shout out to everyone that joined us on this live stream. Shout out to everyone that follows us on Instagram. Once again, you can follow us at Hollywood Kitpax, K I P P A X, across all social media platforms mm-hmm. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, this has been an episode of the Hollywood Kitpax podcast. I'm your co host, Alex Miller. Join with me, as always, is Will Lopez. Yes, sir. Join with me sometimes. Is the prodigal son but he's here he's here i should give him that credit yeah. sorry i uh, mean we are at his spot <laughs> yeah we really are yeah no shout out if kids for yeah. for Lance, he's Providing, the studio. yes come yes. on now yeah anytime i, I disrespected but, uh, but uh, i'll apologize so all right all good uh once again this has been an episode of the hollywood kickbacks signing off come on city we got city come on Fucking versus city. bright in october 1 at 7 a.m right, that's been october 1 it's past. On, it's october 21st holy shit i'm wrong <laughs> <laughs> come on <laughs> Come on, on. you know it's gonna be Bill. Come on, see you next week.
Cheers. Peace. Have a good night. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man.